day, dusk to dawn curfew is being extended to the entire city of Los Angeles. The curfew goes into effect in about four and a half hours. In the words of L.A. Police Chief Daryl Gates, I believe it's absolutely essential to shut down well, things after sundown. Channel 10's Dennis Waltering is live in Los Angeles right now with the latest. Dennis? Hi, Diane Arthur. I'm standing outside the Parker Center, the police headquarters, where protesters tore up shrubs, broke windows, and had a standoff with police last night. You might be able to see police are scattered outside the buildings right now. And over this way, you might be able to see where the two-block section of the area has been barricaded. This part of the town is peaceful right now, but Los Angeles has a state of emergency. At least 13 people have been killed in rioting overnight. Close to 200 have been injured. Looting continues in some parts of town. Earlier, we saw scenes like these of people breaking into stores and running out with whatever they wanted. And part of the city's on fire. The city counted at least 1,500 arsons since last night. Some fires continue burning out of control. Meantime, downtown L.A. is shutting down early. Mayor Tom Bradley has ordered a curfew from dark until dawn, and a lot of people are leaving work early. It's only 2.30 right now here in California. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. And Arthur, as you mentioned, the National Guard has been called in. The National Guard was ordered to staging areas earlier today, and we are now hearing that the National Guard is being mobilized into the streets of Los Angeles. Tonight, no one will be allowed on the streets unless they can prove they have legitimate business to police or to National Guardmen. At the moment, L.A. is tense and nervous, trying to put the lid back on after an explosion that continues out of control. In Los Angeles, Dennis Woltering, Channel 10 News. And update Diane. what we had. 450 people now have been injured, 300 have been arrested. In Atlanta, Georgia, meanwhile, a peaceful protest over the King verdict ended in violence and looting. They're picking his pockets now. I, okay, I think we just took a round. Now, as you heard there, the reporter mentions a round. Well, that's a round of gunfire. The mob then turns its anger on the media, the helicopter there. But there are other victims as well tonight, the homeowners and the business owners of South Central L.A. What the looters didn't get, the massive fires did. But as those flames lit up the night, there was hope as people trying to help people each other. People climbed in the windows and beat him in the face with beer bottles. He was knocked unconscious. He had severe lacerations all over his face. And I was able to get through the crowd and uh, drag him out. Police say nearly a half dozen people were pulled from their cars or their trucks and attacked by the mobs. Well, when he takes over as police chief out there, Philadelphia's Commissioner Willie Williams will inherit all of the problems he that will be coming with that last night was one of the job. most frightening of their lives. Action News caught up with several people from L.A. as they flew into Philadelphia International Airport today. Former Cheltenham resident Jonathan Bell, who now lives in West Hollywood, says the fires were visible about two miles away from his house. Where I live is Sunset Strip, and it's normally very happening that time of night. Lots of people out having a good time. It was almost eerily quiet. Not many people on the streets at all. People seemed to be staying inside. Bell was frightened by the situation, as were many of the other people on the plane with him. Michael Luster has a personal interest in the trouble. He lives in South Central L.A. He watched those stores burn last night. What happened to those white people who were getting beat up? But I hold that jury responsible. At WHAT Radio, host Mary Mason fielded scores of calls from members of the black community, angered by the verdict. It is open war against black folks. Shocked by the violence that followed. Uh, we need to love and respect one another. We need to stop killing. But the question being asked today, did the riots in Los Angeles justify the outcome of the trial? That's where the opinions differed on the streets of Center City. Some couldn't understand why an outraged community could retaliate against innocent people. From newspaper headlines, to President Bush on TV urging for peace. Many of the people we talked to today suspect that the riots in Los Angeles probably would have occurred even if the four police officers had been convicted instead of acquitted, and that the people responsible for the violence and the vandalism there were simply looking for an excuse to cause trouble. They ain't number thieves and thugs. They're just knocking out black folks' places. That's all they're doing. And so the debate continues, as does the search for answers on how to ease the tensions in L.A. and how to prevent a ripple effect of urban unrest rest in other cities like Philadelphia. Rick Williams, Channel 6, Action News. And that is the Los Angeles story to the minute. Appeals for calm, expressions of rage as widespread rioting erupts in Los Angeles and demonstrations are held across the country. What now? And we'll take a closer look at the videotape so central to the Rodney King beating trial that sparked all this.
frame by frame. You be the jury. What would you have done? This is The World Today with Katherine Cryer and Frank Sasno. Thanks for joining us. We begin in Los Angeles, where the city is reeling today from the aftershocks of violent human upheaval. Here's the latest, as far as we know it. L.A. County Coroner's Office confirms 14 riot-related deaths now. There may be 500 injured. Hundreds more have been arrested. Some 2,000 National Guardsmen have been mobilized. Stores and banks have been closed. From the ABC, morning. this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. This has been a day on which people all over the country have been using words and phrases such such as outrage, powerlessness, wanton violence and hopelessness, anger, frustration, betrayal and racism. Some Americans were completely shocked at the verdict in the Rodney King case and the violence which followed. At least nine people dead, more than 400 injured, nearly a thousand in jail. Other people are just as shaken by all this, but not necessarily shocked. For the situation in Los Angeles is this at the moment. The National Guard has been called out. The entire city has been put under curfew not just that hundred square mile area in the middle of this vast city where so much of the violence was last night. That's our report on World News Tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. Good night. This has been a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. I don't see why we're burning ourselves down. <laughs> We're seeing a dark day here in Los Angeles. The vengeance after the verdict. Cries for justice. Pleas for peace amid the rage in Los Angeles. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. Good evening. 2,000 National Guardsmen are in Los Angeles tonight in case they're needed to keep order. In violence following the Rodney King verdict, at least 10 people have been killed, about 200 injured, and there have been 300 arrests. Property damage, $100 million and counting up. Our coverage begins with Bill Lagatuta in Los Angeles. Bill? Dan, busloads of National Guardsmen are arriving at staging areas in Los Angeles. It's expected they will be in some of the neighborhoods later tonight, and they're getting here just in time. Behind me, that thick gray-black cloud is smoke from new fires, which are popping up constantly in the southern section of the city. Everybody here expected some turmoil following yesterday's surprise courtroom verdicts, but no one imagined the kind of violent orgy that took place in the streets here overnight. Dan Rather, I'll see you again soon with Ed Bradley on Street Stories. CBS News. The people of CBS News. Dan Rather. Connie Chung. Mike Wallace. Ed Bradley. Leslie Stahl. And Charles Gerald. Experience. CBS News. This is under curfew tonight as violence continues in the streets. President Bush condemns that violence and promises a federal investigation of the King case. And protests spill over to Atlanta as well. This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Reporting tonight from NBC News headquarters in New York. Good evening. Los Angeles is a city on edge tonight and under curfew as fires, looting, and street violence continue. A lawless reaction to the acquittal of four white police officers in the beating of black motorist Rodney King. National Guardsmen now are being deployed to neighborhoods not yet under assault. Most of the fires and violence have been confined to the predominantly black neighborhoods of South Central Los Angeles.